Hi there. In this video, we're going to step by step to show how to deploy a website to AWS EC2 by using AWS Elastic Beanstalk on Visual Studio. So the first topic, how to set default page for the website. Here is my website a project opened on Visual Studio. There will be three scenarios. First, how can we set up the default document on Visual Studio? Second, how can we set up the default document on IIS server? Third, how can we programmatically set up the default document by code? So let's talk about the first scenario. On Visual Studio, you can just right click the default document you want, like index.html, right click, and then set as start page. Done. Simple as that. Let's test it. Okay, now you can see the index.html is selected as a default document automatically showing up here. So the scenario two, let's go to the IIS server, assuming that we publish the website to IIS server as, for example, the default website. So let's go to IIS server. So default website, we already published here, and we can see there's a default document, click. And here is the default list of files in sequence, okay? So let's say we want the index.html to be the top one. We just click, move up. Okay, yes. So now index.html is the first document to be considered as a default document. Of course, if this document is not available, then pick up the second one. Second one not available, pick up the third one. Continue as that. So in case my start page default document is not showing up here, so you can just click add, say my start page dot HTML is a default document. So you can add whatever customized default document. You can just enter the name here. So now this my start page dot HTML is a default document. Okay. Let's talk about the third one. You can click web.config and add something here, like this one, right? You can see the default document, you need to enable it to chew and enter the index.html as the default document. You can even put more document here in sequence, as in the IS server. That's it, we're straightforward. So three of them are the same easy, easy way to set up the default document for the website. Okay, let's talk about the second topic. Install AWS Toolkit extension. Since we are gonna use the AWS Beanstalk, AWS Explorer, so we need the extension, AWS Toolkit extension for Visual Studio. Let's go extensions. So click extensions menu on the Visual Studio. So click extensions, manage extensions. Let's search AWS Toolkit. So the first one and then click download. Okay, so it's asking for the, oh, you need to close the Visual Studio. Let's close it. Then the start install, click modify. Okay, installing AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. Download, complete. 
and verifying. Now complete, finish up. Okay, it's about updating the configuration. Done, finished. Close it. Now let's restart the Visual Studio. Let's open my web project. Okay. Now let's go to extensions menu. Extensions. Now you can see AWS Toolkit is showing up, right? And this is the menu, AWS Toolkit. So that's it. So we successfully installed AWS Toolkit extensions. Now let's talk about set up AWS Explorer. So on Visual Studio view, you can see AWS Explorer click, but it's empty because we need to add AWS Credential Profile. For that, we need to go to AWS. We need to sign in as a, a root user. So using root user email, click email, next, password, and sign in. MFA code. Modified authentication code. So I need to get it from my cell phone, Google Authenticator application. Submit it. Now I log in. Click I am service. Click I am. Yeah, click it. Now we are in. Click users. Okay. Now we see John as a, a member of group developers. Click John and then click security credentials. Then go down, create access key here or here. Yeah. So use access key. You can send program programmatic calls to AWS from like PowerShell SDKs and the APIs calls. So let's click create access key and then select application run outside AWS. Next, and uh, description tag, let's put my access key, whatever, and the click. Now I just cover the access key and the security access key, okay? So it's done. But before that, I need to download the access key to a CSV file locally. So let's save this file. Let's take a look the content of this file. Open it. Yeah, just two columns, right? Okay, done. Let's sign out AWS. Okay, done. So we got the access file already. Now let's go back to Visual Studio. Click at AWS Credential Profile. And here put the uh, profile name, say, my Visual Studio profile, my VS profile. Yeah, for the storage in location, we have two options. Let's just pick up the first one, shared one. And for the access key, I can import from here, from this file, open. Okay, the so region, region is still Canada. Okay. Now you can see the content of the AWS Explorer, right? Symbol, done. But if you like, I want to close everything. I, if you like, you can keep them, but I just want to close it just in case. Close it. Okay, let's go to the last step. Deploy the website to AWS EC2 by using the Elastic Beanstalk. So here, I want to build a release version. 
right clean right click rebuild okay right click publish to aws elastic beanstalk click yes click yeah. okay so for the credentials we use just that profile we just created right and the region is canada central and then let's create yeah just keep central and create a new application environment next so by default the application name is the project name we call my web let's keep it as this one you can change if you want dev test production let's use dev here and then check the availability so now the request the url is available right next So here is the container type, so 64 Windows Server 2019, and the iOS version is 10. For the instance type, let's pick up a small one. Let's go down. Go down. Okay, I want to pick up the T2 small or T2 micro. T2 small, okay, doesn't matter. And then key pairs, yes, empty. Single instance environment, okay, as the application. So we just keep the rest it is, as it is. Next. So we have two rows here, and let's just keep what it is. Next. So for here, the build version config just release and .NET 4. Okay, nothing change here. Next, and then deploy. So we can open the AWS Explorer to see the progress. Right click, view status, because we already wait a while now, so it's finished. So we can see it's successfully deployed. So let's copy the URL and open in Chrome here. So HTTP slash slash get rid of the last one. Yeah, okay. Here we go. So we have the information up, the website showing up. So this is a website showing up, um, which is on um, AWS. Thank you for watching. Bye.